With national attention of the Zika virus, another globally known virus called the cytomegalovirus also poses a threat to pregnant women. And there are multiple cases of the virus here in the U.S. To find out more, we spoke with researcher Kathleen Muldoon, whose family was personally affected by the virus. I had never heard of through my training until my family was personally affected. Uh, so my son was actually born with a congenital CMV infection. Cytomegalovirus is a member of the herpes family of viruses, uh, the kind of virus that you acquire once and you have for life. 80% um, of women have already contracted it by that point. It kind of hides out in your body and stays with you for life. For example, when you're immunocompromised, so if you're stressed, if you're sick, um, if you're pregnant, anything that depresses your immune system, it might uh, reactivate during that time. Researchers say the biggest problem with the CMV virus is, is the lack of awareness amongst therapists. It's estimated that up to 10,000 children acquire permanent disabilities to, due to the congenital CMV infections each year. Assistant professor at Midwestern University Amy Armstrong Hemsoth tells us how the lack of education is affecting those affected by the virus. There is a lack of public awareness and awareness amongst healthcare providers about the virus, even though it's the leading viral cause of disability in the United States. Uh, we had heard of families and children who need therapists, for example, occupational and physical therapists, um, due to cerebral palsy that results from CMV. And um, oftentimes these families might lose their therapists because the therapists are afraid of catching it. Um, which is just a result of lack of education. Some steps pregnant women can take to prevent the virus are not sharing foods with your toddler and avoid kissing them on the face. For more information on cytomegalovirus, you can follow the link on our website, naztoday.com.